And we begin tonight with some new information about the arrest of that 17 year old in Allegheny County who led police officers on a 16 hour manhunt in a very small community. Now he's facing charges in connection with the deaths of two people inside his home. Here's two on your sides, Jackie Roberts. 17 year old William Larson Jr. remains in custody now charged with second degree murder and first degree manslaughter in connection to two suspicious deaths. I think the evidence must be strong because it came within quick succession to the crime. Thursday morning, crews responded to a house fire on Courtney Hollow Road in Clarksville. Inside the home, authorities found the two people killed. Police say Larson left the scene, which led to an all-day search involving several police agencies. About 16 hours into the manhunt, Larson was found and taken in for questioning. He was arrested that night. According to the criminal complaint, Larson shot the two victims with a rifle on November 5th, more than two weeks before the fire. The complaint also says Larson confessed to the police. This last month, Bill Jr., something snapped in him. He started acting weird. Bruce Hitchcock told Two On Your Side's Dave McKinley that he rented his home from Larson's parents and lived nearby. He explained the teenager recently started showing odd behavior. He did. He dropped out of school. He started staying up all night. He started sleeping in their vehicles out in the, uh, out in the driveways instead of in the house. The victims have not yet been identified, and Larson is being held in a youth facility in Erie County. Could his age play a role in this at all? Is there any chance he could be tried as a juvenile in this? It's an interesting question because under the murder statute, you cannot be adjudicated a youthful offender. Under the manslaughter statute, you can. However, that sentence, once you're adjudicated a youthful offender, maxes at one and a third to four years, so I don't think Y.O. is in the equation. If convicted, that second degree murder charge carries a maximum sentence of life in prison. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.